Hey everybody, welcome back. The question today is, do you have a strategy for determining which assets and asset classes to invest in? You know, there's a lot of different asset classes from multifamily to industrial, there's office product, there's retail, there's hotels, medical and healthcare properties, single tenant net lease properties, student housing, even single family residential is an asset class for commercial investors. So the question is, what do you look for when you're investing? Is it a particular asset type that you think is more durable? Is it one where you believe you can get better returns? Is it one where you think you have better knowledge, more contacts in that space, better access to financing? A lot of different factors that you can look at when determining whether to invest in these different product types. And then once you have a product type that you're looking at or multiple product types that you're looking at, there's other things that you can look at, like the class of the property. A-class properties are generally newer builds. B and C class are usually a little bit older. D class are usually buildings that may need to be repositioned, redeveloped in the near future. Uh, and so you can look at things in a number of different ways. Everyone's got a different strategy. A lot of it has to do with where you have incremental knowledge in a specific area. But once you have your format down of what types of assets you like to look at and what types of returns you're hoping to get, then you can take a look at the different assets and the different geographic markets that you want to focus on most heavily. So on that note, I hope you liked this video. I hope that it's been helpful and kind of at least talking a little bit about different asset types and different asset classes. And I hope that it gives you a little pause for a second to think what has been your strategy so far and what is your strategy going to be going forward sometimes that changes over time usually not too often but a lot of times it'll change incrementally over time or with big shifts in the market either economically or uh, with events in your life or within a particular economic market so i hope this was a good video for you feel free to let me know if you have any questions and we can dive deeper